Okay, happy Sabbath. Now, people, I'm going to uh, briefly let you know why I teach the way I teach and why I teach specific topics to people. First of all, being called by God is when God chooses certain people. He puts his rock Kadash in us, which is the Holy Spirit, to move us. Meaning that we're listening to God from the Holy Spirit to move and tell us to teach to certain people about certain topics. If we do not teach what we are led to teach, then we are going to be disciplined by Almighty for not obeying what God is telling us to do. You have to understand this. Jonah who was swallowed up by the fish. The reason why Jonah was cast into the fish. And the reason why I'm saying fish. Because that's what is in the Bible. It's not saying specifically what it is. A well which we can all say. Well duh it was a well. But I'm speaking by scripture. When Jonah was swallowed up by the fish. This is why he was and the fish for three days and three nights. God told Jonah to teach, go and teach, and tell them to repent in the city of Nineveh. Oh, wicked city, where the the leader was a was a tyranny. Oh, the whole city was just full of evilness, wicked. And so God was fed up with that city. So he chose his called out one, Jonah. He commanded Jonah to go and let them know that they all need to repent or else. Jonah was timid about doing that. He didn't want to go out there and, 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 and tell them that God Almighty told them to stop living the way they were living. That's how wicked they were in the city of Nineveh. So Jonah took it upon himself to be disobedient and run away to a city. I may not be able to pronounce it Tarshish or Tarshish. And, and he tried to get away to the place of Joppa. Now the Joppa is, I know a Joppa in Jerusalem, well in Israel. So I don't know if that's specifically that, but get your Bibles out. Read the whole book of Jonah. It's four chapters and they, they short. It's not even a, a whole two pages, like maybe a page and a half or whatever, depending on your Bible. Now, Jonah left, got on the ship, paid his fare, got on the ship, and tried to flee from the commandments of God. He didn't want to obey and tell them what God is telling us to, to do today when we sin. And that's repent. So Jonah flew away. Well, not flew, but he sailed away. And while he was sailing away, getting away from God's command, a great uh, a wind of, of the disturbance of the sea came about. I don't want to break down exactly what was going on. It's all in the Bible. But after... They, the people, the sailors had tossed Jonah out the boat because it was because of, it was because of Jonah that it was a great turbulence with the, the boat, the sea, right? God put his calamity on the travel within that boat because of Jonah's disobedience. So Jonah explained that it was because of him, so they tossed him out. Jonah said, well, just toss me out then. You know, I ain't trying to bring the punishment upon y'all. So when Jonah was tossed out the boat, God put them in the fish for three days and three nights. See, by him being in the fish, it wasn't for him to be killed. It was for Jonah to learn a lesson about being obedient, about obedience. See, he was called, but he wanted to do what he wanted to do because he feared 
the command that God told him to do for the city of Nineveh. Huh? So when he knew that it was God disciplining him, he prayed to God. He repent. Oh, hallelujah. We cannot teach if we're not willing to follow. So when Jonah repents and pray to God Almighty in the fish, in the belly of the fish, God heard Jonah's pray, heard him cry it out. And so he released him. He had the fish to vomit him out. Oh, buddy, here's the good part. When Jonah was vomit out of the fish, <laughs> Jonah flew to the city of Nineveh. And he let them know what God Almighty told them to do. And guess what else happened? Great news. Everybody repented. Hallelujah. They all repent. Even the tyranny. The leader. Huh? Everybody repent. In the city of Nineveh. After Jonah went there and stood before all of them. And told them what they needed to do. Because of their disobedience. Because of their wickedness. See? When we are called to do something by God Almighty, regardless of who don't like the message, how people perceive it, there's people who may not perceive it and, and, and take the warnings and repent. And then you have those who will take the warning lightly and gracefully and repent. Regardless, Jonah was worrying about the repercussions of man. And least and Leslie thought about the repercussions of God Almighty, huh? And so God, God showed them up. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So when I teach on YouTube and I teach on specific topics, the teachings may hurt people. It may bother your soul. But I have to teach these lessons. People throwing comments on I should mind my business and I this and all that. That's fine because I know that I'm touching your soul with the message. You have to understand if I'm called and I say I'm not teaching this on YouTube because people going to get mad. People are going to attack me. People not going to like me. They going to send derogatory comments. People going to be in their feelings. They going to hate me. I'm going to be the most hated teaching teacher on YouTube. I ain't doing that, God. Huh? No. I'm not here to please men. I'm going to do that for men? And then get disciplined by God? How dare we think? Think like this. Not at all. I've been condemned before. I know how it feels to be disobedient. I know how it feels to have the wrath of God put upon me. Not at all. It's not fun. It's not fun, people. So I would rather be persecuted by man. Especially if I've been promised that no harm would be put upon me when I'm teaching what he want me to teach. So for those that's out there, that, that's always in their feelings about my teachings, be mad at God. Be mad at God because you don't understand it. You don't understand him. But when God tell you if you ask, instead of being mad at God, if you ask and wonder why you're being attacked and he tell you then all you have to do is just change your ways. People know when they are not living right. You know when you're not living right. You know when you are living shenanigans. You know when you're doing what you want to do to please your, yourself. But God is telling us to tell you all to stop doing these things or you're going to be disciplined. God was getting ready to send his calamity on the city of Nineveh. He was finna tear it up. When Jonah finally obeyed his command on what he had to do and he was led to tell them and warn them, they all repent and God lift up the calamity that he was going to send upon that city and they were all blessed. See what I'm saying, people? The calamity is put upon cities, countries, 
peoples, individuals, because we don't want to obey God. We don't want to repent. We want to continue to live shenanigan and wicked. And he warns y'all, he warns us to stop doing it before he punish us. See, God is so loving for us that he sent Jesus to die for our stupidness. Not only that, since we're still sinning, he sends the chosen ones out there. He chooses people to tell other dodos to stop sinning before he hurt you. That's another blessing, people. He sends his chosen ones to warn you about what's going to happen if you don't stop living foul. If you don't stop lying, if you don't stop cheating, if you don't stop stealing, if you don't stop killing, if you don't stop treating people with contempt because you, you hating on them, you envy people, if you don't stop being phony towards others, being shenanigans, Treating people bad because you got your feelings and you're insecure and all this shenanigan, all this stuff of Satan. Glutton, overeating, not caring about your health, eating what you want to eat. Money worshippers, greedy people, selfish people. I ain't giving nobody nothing. Anybody gave me nothing. I'm taking all the money. It's all about money with me. It's all about green love. I don't care about nothing. It's about that money. If we continue to live like this and God send his chosen ones to tell y'all to stop acting like this and then all y'all could do is lash back and have an attitude and be in your feelings. Talking about some, why are you telling me what to do? You, you need to, to do what you need to do. And start you need to man your business. And I do what I want to do. I can sin. This is my life. I We have choices. God still love me. And this and that and the other. All these self-righteous lies. If we don't teach what we are led to teach. Then we are going to be disciplined. We refuse to be disciplined by God. I'd rather be loved and blessed and protected by God. Huh? I'm not finna risk that for you. I'm not finna risk that for them. I'm not finna risk that for no man on planet earth. I'm not doing that. So when you hear these teachings and people feel attacked, good. That means that you in particular need to stop living what I am teaching you. You need to stop acting like dodos, repent, and you will see the, the change in your life and in your surroundings. But see, if you don't want to stop living like a dodo, then the results is going to be what it is. You're going to be attacked spiritually, emotionally, physically, financially. You are oh, you finna go, you you gonna catch all that. Because when God say teach and they don't listen, you're gonna get disciplined by God. So I'm the least of your worry. I'm the least of your worry. So attacking uh, the videos is not what you need to be worried about. Because I'm safe. When people attack the videos and talk crazy and derogatory, that's that's being tossed out. I'm safe. <laughs> so anybody say anything stupidness and childish against the teachers, you're, te you, you're, you're talking against God. Yeah, you 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 you're disrespecting God. You're talking derogatory to God. At the video, you you it's bad passing me, and you doing it to God because God told me to tell you these things. It, 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 all that is going to God, and guess what? He's angry with your comments. See, I'm obeying. If it's derogatory, just delete it. We don't we don't accept that. We just to delete it. See if I re, if I reply to the stupidness, then that's showing immaturity in my spiritual on my spiritual level. That's showing uh immaturity and I'm disobeying God by arguing and going back and forth with Satan's henchmen. That's stupid. I'm going to teach what God tell me to teach and take courage to do so and then I'm going to play these games with people who who in their feelings. That's stupid. No, I teach and let it go. Move forward. I teach, let it go, and move forward to the next thing I got to do. 
I'm obeying. That's all I'm doing. So anybody that get mad and don't understand these bold teachings, then go to God. God told me to tell you this. Amen.